So there's a lot of chaos going on, and we wanted to take a break in the middle of it to tell you something happy. Dave Portnoy, as a day job, runs Barstool Sports. He's watched the country get poorer. He wanted to help. He's now raised tens of millions of dollars to help small businesses stay alive during these lockdowns. One of these small business owners recently spoke to him by phone to explain what that money meant to her. Listen. My whole body is numb right now. I'm glad we could help. You guys are, you guys are angels. This is, we've been feeling so abandoned and so scared about the future. Thank you so much for, for taking care of the people that have seemed to be forgotten. So the rest of us are arguing about how big the checks could be, should be, and Portnoy just decides I'm going to do it myself and raises the money and gives it to the people who need it. Kind of an amazing story. You'd think it would be everywhere. It isn't. It's been pretty much ignored, the Barstool Sports Fund, by the media. But this week, some in the press started taking a different approach. They're angry, and they're trying to destroy Barstool Sports. The San Francisco Chronicle, for example, is a garbage paper, wrote that the woman you just saw was, quote, not aware of Portnoy's history of making racist and misogynistic remarks or the accusations of sexual harassment against him. Because no good deed goes unpunished, apparently. Dave Portnoy joins us tonight. First of all, Dave, you did it. I knew that you would. I think it's a really moving story. It's a great story. Um, why aren't more people celebrating it? We're starting to pick up steam, but uh, it, who knows? There's agendas. It's sad. I mean, obviously, I come on this show, so you get painted with a certain brush, which I'm right, sure you're right. aware. Uh, you know, yeah. we're just trying to help people. We're just trying to help people. Uh, and I don't care whether you're Democrat, Republican, left, right, green, yellow, black, white. There's people and they need money, and these videos that we're doing show it. And I'll go anywhere, Tucker, you invite me, you help launch it, but I will literally go on anywhere. To the credit today, showed it a very nice piece on it, helped us. Good. Um, so, you know, there, this is one of those issues that I'm glad we're helping, but the fact that anybody can't be, this, this should be, there should be nobody who has, you know, anything against it. This is just people helping people in the truest sense. And we are getting it. There's $20 million. We're close to $21 million. We've had people reach out. But why, you know, and Fox has been great promoting it. They have. Um, but everybody should. Because the more publicity we get, the more small businesses we can help. And it spans everywhere. So I don't have that answer. I'm just focused. Get publicity. Get money. Get it to the people who need it. Now, you guys are really successful. I don't think you're quite as big as Blackstone or Goldman Sachs. I won't make you answer, but I mean, where are their funds, by the way? Seriously, the people who are getting, you know, where's Jeff Bezos' fund? A uh, uh, sincere question, like, what the hell? Why is this left to you to do? You run a sports site, like, what is this? I, I have no idea. I will say, and we're just getting ready to tweet it. I'm happy to say Elon Musk uh, is going to help us. So Good. I think that will go a long way, but I don't know. Um, maybe they don't know about it. I don't know what they do. Listen, it's, that's almost in a weird way the charm of what we're doing is just everyday people across every walk of life reaching out unsolicited, saying, can I give you $50, can I give you $100,000? They just want to help. And it is the beauty of this country. There's so much chaos. I don't want to get it bad, but there's a lot of good. This country yeah, is still great. That's right. And there's people who want to help. That's exactly right. And that's why I was excited to talk to you tonight. What kind of people you've been giving the money to? It's all walks. We literally get all walks of life, but small business restaurants, uh, bar owners, dry cleaners, you name it, it's touch. And it, it, not surprisingly, the states that have the strictest lockdowns are California and New York, Massachusetts, a lot of applicants from those states. But these are people who have been in business. That first woman, that's the oldest bar west of the Mississippi in San Francisco. It's been around since 1830. It's their life brand. They put everything into to lose a bar like that and have nobody pay attention. That's why these people are breaking down. It's for the first time, like, finally, you see, we've been here for 200 years. It's sad. It's sad. It's just crushing. And, and you are making a difference. I never say that because it sounds so dopey, but actually you are. And I'm grateful I know they are, too. Dave Portnoy, thank you. Thanks.